The presidential election of the 9th of October, like the previous elections in Azerbaijan, revealed the absence of effective legal means to investigate complaints on violations of the law and restoration of the violated rights of citizens, said Hafiz Hasanov, the head of the NGO Law and Development, presenting on December 12th a final report on the results of monitoring the protection of electoral rights and complaints of violations of the law during the presidential election on October the 9th. Monitoring was conducted in the framework of the project Legal Protection of Election Participants implemented with the support of the German Marshall Fund of the United States, the U.S. Embassy in Azerbaijan, and the OEC Baku Office. According to the lawyer of NGO Law and Development, Azar Gasumov, 127 applications were made to present to electoral commissions. Another 43 applications were compiled for submission to the courts. In 14 cases, interests of the applicants were protected in the appellate courts and the Supreme Court. In these cases, it is planned to submit two appeals to the Constitutional Court, two to the European Court of Human Rights and four more to the UN Committee on Human Rights. Another flagrant violation of the law, Hasanov called a strict warning that Central Election Commission made to the candidate of the National Council, Jamil Hassanli, over an incident during a televised debate. Even if we assume that Hassanli violated the law, there is not such a measure as a strict warning in the law. On this issue, we plan to bring the case to the European Court of Human Rights because Jamil Hassanli was punished for criticizing President Ilham Aliyev, said Hassanov. Hassanli and three other presidential candidates who were denied registration Ahmed Orij, Ali Aliyev and Fahad Aliyev will send complaints to the UN Committee on Human Rights. Head of the Election Monitoring and Democracy Studies Center, Anar Mamadov, expressed the need for conduction of public censure campaign against those responsible for violations of electoral rights of citizens. Based on the results of monitoring, a set of recommendations were made, which include submission of complaints related to election process annulment of the rules on consideration of complaints by an expert group under CEC and establishment of an independent fact-finding expert group. It is also proposed to toughen sanctions for violations of electoral rights, the establishment of a mechanism for efficient consideration of complaints by the courts. It is also proposed to specify rules on cases of recognizing the election invalid and revocation of the procedure of approval of the election results by the Constitutional Court.